Hello and welcome back for the second time today. This is Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am over on the Brutus Monroe blog with this really quick card actually, but it has an amazing ending. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what we're using and we'll talk about it. But this card just like ugh, speaks to my childhood. Um, I have started off with some Raven cardstock and I had cut that down to five and a half by eight and a half inches. This is going to be a side folding A2 size card because I scored it at four and a quarter inches. I'm going to put this in my makeshift splatter box. I plan to use the neon aqua pigments and these do not disappoint. I don't know why I waited so long to get these, but I'm in love with them and I want to splatter all the things. I've started with some of the red neon and look at that. I'm just splattering it and look at how gorgeous that is on the black and it stays pretty true to that once it dries. Now I'm going to use the orange. And it also comes in yellow and pink, but I didn't use those today. But I've splattered that all over the background. And then I'm going to clean that off and I'm going to grab some of the green. And the green even stays pretty true once it starts to dry. But I'll put that on just a stamp block, take a little paintbrush and splatter that all over the background. Is this not screaming 80s to you? I don't know. I don't know about you, but this, <laughs> I love it. It makes me think of like roller rinks and, you know, black lights and everything. Um, so I'm also putting the blue now and I'm going to splatter that all over the background. And I could not be more in love with this. So a friend of mine had asked for a bunch of birthday cards because she sends them out to her son's college friends. And uh, I had a bunch of dude ATCs that I had made for a previous thing. And I, so I thought, what am I going to do with these? I, she needs some masculine ones. And so I made a bunch of these backgrounds and these took no time at all. So I'm telling you, you could mass produce these in a heartbeat. I am going to heat set these because I want to move on here. And it does take a little bit longer than what I end up showing you, but they're just, uh, I'm in love with these backgrounds. Like I said, you could make a bunch of them. The stamps that I'm going to use, I'll show you here in a second, but I'm just taking some white cardstock that I had cut down to four inches by five and a quarter using a tape runner and I'll just stick that on the inside. You could just use like a white gel pen or something like that, but I thought this would just be a little bit easier. Brutus Monroe has a couple of really great sentiment stamp sets and I'm going to use one of them today. I'm going to use the Extra Sentimental and I'm just going to use one of the Happy Birthday from it. They're both great stamp sets. You would definitely want those in your collection. But I'll grab the happy birthday and mine is a little bit stained because I used it on a different project and I'd use some surface inks, uh, but that doesn't bother me. It still stamps great. I'm going to use my magic powder bag over the background, ink up my stamp with embossing ink, and then cover that with the Brutus Monroe Alabaster embossing powder. That white and then with the splatter and that black background, it just really stands out and it's so pretty. And then I'll get ready to stamp out the other stamp. So I'm going to use Paper Cranes. This one, I just love this one. It doesn't have any sentiments in it, which is why it would work perfect with both sentiments, uh, sentimental stamp sets. But I'll put this into my Misty, put the magnet down, and then I'm going to grab the Paper Cranes. I'm going to use the one that's the bigger one. And it's like a more of a vertical stamp. But I just think it's so cool. And I'll close the door of the Misty, pick up the stamp, put down my magic powder bag and ink up the stamp with some more of that embossing ink. Stamp it down and then I'll pull that out of my Misty and then cover that with the alabaster embossing powder as well. And I'm just, I finally put it in a container. I think I mentioned this once before, so I'll have those listed down below. And I'm just using one of those triangular uh, bead containers because it works pretty good. And then I'll heat set that till that is smooth and melted. And that's actually going to finish off the card. This is so easy. You could add other things to it if you wanted, but I mean, that background alone just speaks volumes. I think it's gorgeous. So like I said, I'm over on the Brutus Monroe blog talking about this. I will have a link down below in the description box so that you can head on over there if you'd like to take a look at that. And then you can, while you're there, peruse around the rest of the blog, taking a look at what everybody else has been up to. Uh, if you liked this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I'll just take this opportunity to say a quick thank you to everybody who uses my affiliate links, who leaves comments, who likes it. Um, you guys are incredible. You're the ones keeping this channel going. So as always, thank you so much for stopping by.